Hello everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again, looking at more media options that come as standard in Antics. <coughs> we've covered music, we've covered ripping your CDs, we're going to take a look at video. Uh, and in Antics' case, you can use a couple of different tools. We have a tool called mPlayer, and we have another called Gnome mPlayer. Gnome mPlayer is actually just a front end mPlayer, but it has a little bit friendlier controls okay so we click on no man player we get this very simple looking screen let's say we want to play a video file and I have a video folder here with a movie and here is the movie you can zip around inside and everything We won't show me more of the movie just for copyright reasons. This same tool can open your DVDs. But you have to have a little something extra for the DVD, and I'm going to show you that. We're going to crack open uh, the Control Center System Manage Packages. This is going to be your root password. And what you're going to want, you need an extra library to handle a commercial DVD. And that library is available here in deb-multimedia.org. Now these are already installed. All you have to do is enable them. By default, it looks like this. They're, it's, it's not checked. Um, if you're using the testing repository, use the testing version. If you're using the Wheezy repositories, use the Wheezy. Same for unstable. There's an unstable version as well. I'm using Wheezy, so I'm going to leave it as, as Wheezy. It's going to tell you to reload the repositories. I've already done that, so I'm not going to worry with it right now. I didn't actually make any changes. But the library you're looking for is lib dvd c s s, And you can see that uh, I've actually already installed it, but that's it right there. You'll want to install this library. Once this library is installed, you can play your DVD discs. Open disc, DVD with menus, and here we go. Now again, I'm on the same computer with the really slow DVD, but there you go. And you can skip around to the various functions. Uh, it does support uh, various features of the DVD, but it's just like running an actual DVD just like on your on your television or in any computer. Again, this is similar to the DVD playback functionality in window in uh, in Windows 7. Windows 8 doesn't include DVD functionality by default. So if you have a fresh install of that, you may not be able to play your DVDs. You can do that here on Antics with a simple library install <coughs> and the default GNOME player M player. GNOME M player is great. Um, I will show you one other tidbit in the video. If you just click on a video file, you actually get, by default, you actually get mPlayer instead of Gnome mPlayer. It's the same video, but it doesn't have the little toolbars. You have to use the arrow keys to advance the video and spacebar pauses. Okay, so for tips, tricks, and how-tos, head over to annex.mepis.org. Drop us a post at annex.freeforms.org. This is Dolphin Oracle signing off. Have a great evening.